morning Sagittarius and welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading where in this video we're going to take a look at your person's current feelings towards you. This is a general love reading and if it resonates with you right now feel free to show some love towards the channel. Remember roles can be reversed in today's video and if you feel that your messages are not here please check out your other placements or alternatively you can always just tune back in next time when I upload a new reading for your sign. Please don't try to force this reading if it doesn't sound like your story here today. It probably isn't and that's okay. Thank you to each and every one of you Sagittarians who have recently subscribed to my channel. You don't know uh, how much your support means to me of late. The comments, the support, everything truly from the bottom of my heart, it, it means the world. So with that being said, let's dive on into your reading. Let's find out how your person, uh, who you're connecting to on a romantic level feels towards a sign of Sagittarius. Let's take a look. Okay, Queen of Swords. The Eight of Wands. Ooh, the Queen of Wands. Okay. The Ten of Swords. You may be connecting to an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a water sign here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, it seems like you and this person have recently gone through some kind of a breakup or a separation. Look at this. Underneath that is the Five of Swords. Okay, further backed up by the Five of Swords. So it looks like there was some kind of like a fallout. Um, and to me, it makes me feel like this person has been reflecting on what's like, yeah, they've been reflecting and this Five of Swords makes me feel like this person is feeling sort of like guilty or bad for the way things have ended or for the way things have um, maybe not ended. For some of you, it's ended or for the way things, I, I can't think of another word. Um, the way things have gone down between the both of you. Okay. Now, it seems like to me, with these three cards up here that this person would really like to approach you um, to be able to clear the air okay the queen of swords tells me that this person has had some time to really think about what went down what was said what was done and this person would really like to approach you to be able to kind of just clear clear out the air between the both of you. Look, there's two queens here, which makes me feel like this person is coming to you open, honest, vulnerable. Okay, this is feminine energy on both sides, which makes me feel like this person wants to have just a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. I do believe that this person has a lot of love for you. This person has very strong feelings for you. This person understands that you are kind of like in a little bit of a shutdown mode here with the Queen of Cups. And to me, this Queen of Swords wants to come in um, with kind of like these intentions to be able to explain themselves. Or just like hear them out. Okay. Let's just clarify um, the Five of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Tell me more about the Five of Swords and the Ten of Swords. What happened here? The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, look, I definitely feel this Ace of Pentacles is this person wants to take accountability. They want to apologize. Like I said to you, they feel guilty. They feel bad. They feel like it's because of them that there was this fallout. Mm. 
The Eight of Wands can sometimes represent distance, physical distance, emotional distance. This person is definitely feeling this distance between the both of you. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here? The Knight of Pentacles. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hmm. Look, I feel like the Knight of Pentacles in this position would say that this person is planning to close that gap. You know, they, they plan to... Yeah, close that physical and emotional distance. And hopefully they are planning to do it by explaining themselves, excusing themselves. Um, they're hoping to do it by uh, opening up a conversation with you or being the first person to open up a conversation with you This is definitely not someone who is uh, being forceful with you. I'm just seeing someone who is exercising a lot of patience, a lot of understanding, showing empathy um, and coming from a place of heart and consideration. And the Queen of Swords is fairness, okay? This person um, wants to hear also what you have to say. All right, let's move forward and, and have a look at and see what this person's intentions are here. All right, spirit angels and guides, what are the intentions of this person? What are the intentions of this person? Just give the cards a bit of a shuffle. Uh, these two cards could also indicate that communication has stopped between the both of you. And I feel like this person would like to uh, start up conversation again because the Queen of Swords, she likes to talk. Okay, she doesn't like to, she doesn't like not to talk. You know, conversation is her jam. Being able to talk to her partner is really important. Okay, communication, conversation is, is really her jam. All right, let's take a look at this person's intentions. Ooh, the Ace of Cups. The Sun, the King of Wands, and the Hierophant. You may be connecting to a Taurus or a Leo here, or a Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, what does this person desire? What does this person want? Okay, look, I feel like with the Hierophant, this person's really committed to the connection. They're committed to a brand new beginning or a fresh start here with the Ace of Cups. Okay. They're committed to their, like, their promise to you or their word to you. Um... It makes me feel like whatever they're apologizing for, whatever they are saying sorry for, they're committed to like do better. Yeah. This person desires emotional happiness with the Sun and the Ace of Cups. 
And this is new beginnings right here. This person desires to kind of just like wipe the slate clean, start fresh, you know, let's be happy once again. Um, what do I need to do in order to make you happy, Sagittarius? Tell me what it is that I need to do. You know what I mean? Just tell me, tell me what it is that I need to do and I will do it. Mm. Why is the King of Wands here? Why is the King of Wands here? Okay, let's just have a look. I'm just going to give these clarifiers a bit of a shuffle. Why is the King of Wands here for what this person wants with Sagittarius? Okay, the Five of Cups and the Knight of Swords. So when I look at these two cards with the King of Wands, this person wants you to no longer hold a grudge against them. Okay, the Knight of Swords can sometimes feel like you're still mad at them, um, but the Five of Cups is kind of like a silent grudge, like you're holding it against them. But this person desires for you to kind of just like move past it, let it go. Five of Cups is still like sort of clinging onto the past. But honestly, this person just wants you to like let it go. Hmm. All right, um, why is the Hierophant here? Tell me more, why is the Hierophant here? The Five of Pentacles. Hmm. The Five of Pentacles with the Hierophant. What's underneath? Let me just have a look. The Chariot. Yeah, I just feel like this person desires to just move past the past. You know, it doesn't serve this person to kind of like, you know, hold a grudge. Sometimes with the Hierophant speaking to Taurus, Taurians can sometimes, you know, hold a grudge for a very, very, very long time. But this person with, especially when the chariot is coming in, it's kind of like, I desire to kind of just, you know, let this go, move past it, move on. The chariot is like, let's get these wheels in motion and just move on. Yeah. Because this person doesn't want to feel isolated from you. Okay. Um, sometimes the five of pentacles is an energy of feeling lonely in a relationship and if this person's going to be in a relationship here with you in the Hierophant they want to feel like they're in a relationship with you they don't want to feel like they're doing a relationship alone or a connection alone does that make sense yeah all right let's take a look at their actions Spirit, angels and guides, what action will this person take towards Sagittarius? What action will this person take towards Sagittarius? Just a few more shuffles. Yesterday was a sad day for me, Sagittarius. I buried my nonna and it was just so heartbreaking. So I'm feeling really exhausted today. Okay, the Six of Pentacles. 
Um, okay, actions, actions. Well, the chariot is here. So we saw that in the clarifier before with regards to their intentions. The six of cups, six of pentacles. Um, okay, give me a moment as I just um, unpack these cards. Okay, so with regards to their actions towards you, I see with the Chariot and the Ace of Pentacles, this person is going to use their initiative, come towards you and ask for forgiveness, take it upon themselves to take accountability and apologize for their mistakes and their actions. They know what they did. Okay, they know what they did. They know what they said. They know that they shouldn't have. Um, and they just want a chance, they, they just want you, for you to be able to forgive them here and feel uh, connected to you again with the Six of Cups. They just want to feel close to you again, okay? Mm. And to me, um, with regards to their actions, what they're trying to do here is they're trying to restore order and balance back to the relationship with the Six of Pentacles. Yeah. To me, the Six of Pentacles is kind of like a, it's a, a particular dynamic, right? Where this person's kind of like coming back, sort of begging for you to forgive them. Okay, so they're kind of being the beggar here. And, and rightfully so, because they know they were in the wrong. And, and they're doing it again here. Okay, they're doing it again here in the Six of Cups. All right, let's take a look and see how you are going to respond. Um, look, and... Guys, if you feel like this is not your story, if, you, if you're the Sagittarian that's coming into the reading and you're saying, oh, I can't see my person apologizing, then guys, please leave. It's not your story. Don't try to force the reading if it's not for you, okay? Don't come in here and tell me that I'm sugarcoating the reading um, and that I'm not using my intuition. Like seriously, I've been doing readings for like a very long time now. Leave. That's it. Just leave. All right, Sagittarius, how are you going to respond to this situation? Um, let's take a look. Two of Wands, Seven of Pentacles and the Star. The Nine of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Let me just look at these cards. The Emperor underneath. Okay, the Emperor underneath. Well, you're definitely in a very powerful position with the emperor here. Okay, so you know, Sagittarius, you know that the ball is in your court, is what I want to say here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with these two of wands, you know that the it's really up to you whether or not you want to take this person back and give them a second chance. It's really up to you. It's your call from here. And I feel that's where you're at, right? You're at this point where you're trying to decide if you do want to give this person a second chance, if you do want to forgive this person. You're trying to work out here with the Seven of Pentacles if this person is someone worth continuing to invest into. I feel like with the star, for some of you Sagittarians, you really want to make this work. 
Okay, the star is like hope, desire, wish. You really want to make this work. I'm going to clarify it. Tell me more about the star. Why is the star card here? You really want to make this work. You really want to maybe forgive and heal. But look at this. The Seven of Swords tells me you really want to make this work. You really want to be able to forgive them. But part of you just cannot trust this person. Part of you just doesn't feel like you can trust them. And maybe with the Seven of Swords... It's because you've given them already too many chances. I don't know. Um, well, look at this. I just had a look at the bottom of the deck and the four of cups is here. So maybe, yeah, maybe you have already given them too many chances and nothing's changed. Okay. Hmm. Let me take a look at this two of wands. So I kind of feel like, to be honest, I'm picking up for some of you Sagittarians that you're kind of going to dance around the issue a little bit. The world. You're kind of going to dance around it a little bit until you figure out, and until the picture is clear, until you're sure if you want to give this person another chance or if you just really want to just wrap it up and be done with the world card because the world can speak to closure you know you're kind of looking out over the horizon thinking you know can i see myself having a future with this person that's what you're asking yourself. Can I, or, or is it with somebody else? And to me, I feel like you're kind of dancing around it until the picture is clear. To me, when I look at the world card, some of you are not sure. because And the reason why I say you're not sure is because there's clouds surrounding the wreath. And clouds to me represent a lack of clarity. You're just not sure just yet. So the, the, the big call, the big decision is, is really up to you right now. And that's all Spirit's giving me. I'm sorry, Sagittarius. That's all Spirit's giving me. That's all I can say on that. Okay. Let's just grab a last parting message and or advice. Last parting message and or advice. Last parting message and or advice for our Sagittarians who are in this kind of predicament. Let's take a look. Oh, goodness. Ten of Swords. Look, the Ten of Swords is... It's a situation that you have been involved in for quite some time that tells me that you've experienced you know difficult times with this person and i i just feel like you want to put it to bed you want to you you want to put it to bed you want to you don't want to experience this anymore the hermit card mm. okay well the hermit card virgo energy i feel like you're analyzing whether or not this is something that is going to continue on in this kind of dynamic or in this kind of relationship no one wants to experience these kind of difficulties or these kind of issues um, or these kind of struggles in a relationship. For you, it feels like it's been going on for far too long. And no one wants to feel this way um, anytime. What you're telling yourself here with the Hermit is, if, if I do forgive this person, 
with the star here, if I do forgive them, um, if I do accept them back in, is am I going to experience like another like cycle like this again? That, that's what you're trying to work out. That's what you're trying to analyze. That's what you're trying to figure out. Because to me, it feels like you don't want to. I, I can assure you, you don't want to. You're exhausted. You're done with it. You know? I'm going to leave it there, Sagittarius. Let me know what you think about that. Um, let me know what comes to you when you listen to this reading. Let me know what hits you when you hear the these two messages that come through these two cards because maybe intuitively you you feel like you already know what to do so i'm going to leave it there guys thank you for your time i really do appreciate you listening to this reading to the very end and i will see you on the next one bye <music>